This is our technology section on driveworkslive.com. I'm going to select our forms tech stack. This splash screen introduces driveworks. I'm going to click explore driveworks forms. The layout of our tech stacks contains navigation to guide you through the sections, such as you can see at the top here. They also have subsections broken down here. All of our pages will also have a help icon. The tech stacks are fully interactive, containing lots of information that you can have a go at. Forms are the user interface or the UI of your DriveWorks configurator. More and more of us are now used to configuring and buying online. Your form design is the link between your customers and your products. DriveWorks gives you the ability to create clear, concise forms that can be completed quickly with no confusion, guiding your customers to specify the combinations that you allow. Set them up in DriveWorks Administrator by adding form controls and using rules in the background to decide what and when to show. You can run your configurator inside DriveWorks, inside SolidWorks or any other device. Add your forms to your website so you, your colleagues, customers, sales teams and distributors can configure anytime, anywhere. This screen shows our trailer configurator. This is how it looks to DriveWorks Administrator. This is how it would look to a DriveWorks user inside SolidWorks. This is what a DriveWorks user might see. And this shows a view of our trailer configurator as it would look on DriveWorks Live on many different devices. You have the ability to completely customize your forms. You have complete control over the design, behavior and functionality of the forms that you design for your configurator. You can build forms that collect and validate the information that you need to design your products and automate your business process. This first example shows an entrance canopy. This project demonstrates the use of dynamic forms. I can choose a currency. I can scroll down. And I can change the configuration of my canopy. I'll just change that roof pitch. You can see all the time my price is updating. I can change the foundation colour and type. I have further options that I can add to my cost. And I can also fill my details in and I can have some documents sent to me. The next example shows the trailer configurator. This configurator makes use of customised buttons with horizontal menu layout. Now I've selected my trailer, I can configure whilst interacting with the DriveWorks 3D model. And I can see exactly where I'm up to with the different configurable elements. My form is making great use of Drive 3D. Clicking on the different menus takes me to a different view in my Drive 3D file. My lights panel also gives me the ability to make them flash. DriveWorks 3D adds great realism to your forms. After my sidebars and bump bar, I'm going to add some paintwork. If I click on summary, I can see a detailed description and pricing breakdown. The steel door option again makes great use of DriveWorks 3D to show your configured options. This configurator has navigation arrows to take me through the specification. I'll just change some of these.
I can also view this door from the inside or the outside. Section 2 shows how forms are interactive. Starting with form controls, creating an interactive UI in DriveWorks is easy. Choose from more than 20 out-of-the-box control types. Examples labels, drop-down box, slider, date picker and many more. You can see here are out-of-the-box examples. Checkboxes, combo box, numeric text box, spin buttons, sliders and option groups. There's an example of a picture box and then we've got a data table. We also have examples of styled form controls. In this case I can use colour for my buttons. I can use macro buttons for navigation. I've got customised text boxes, hyperlinks. I can change the font and layout of my customised text and boxes, adding colour to my data table. You can also create custom form controls. Here I have a material picker. It's been created from macro buttons and the materials are table driven allowing for unlimited options and modular implementation. I have a link slider and numeric text box. As I change the slider, the numeric text box will reflect the value, or I can type into the text box. These controls are linked allowing for multiple input options. This is an example of an expanding menu, created with macro buttons and picture boxes. The expanding menu allows you to categorise your input controls. This is an example of a carousel, created using dynamic picture boxes, macro buttons and text boxes. The information in the carousel is table driven, allowing for dynamic content and unlimited items. Here is another example of an expanding menu created with macro buttons and picture boxes. These are check boxes that have been restyled to show when the options are on or off. I have a customised spin button. This text box uses a picture behind to create the background colour. These are unlinked numeric text boxes created using numeric text boxes, picture boxes, a label and a check box. This is an example of an expanding menu again using labels, a checkbox, a picture box and a macro button. The next section is 3D. You can incorporate 3D into your forms too. I can configure products in real time 3D using a fully responsive DriveWorks 3D preview. If I select the side of the play center, I can choose a different combination based on my form. I can also change this colour scheme. You can guide users with feedback on your forms. Build rules to create an interactive user experience that gives users continuous feedback and guidance based on the selections that they make. In this example, section lengths over 3 meters have an extended lead time of 12 weeks. If I adjust that, that warning now disappears. Great feedback for your customers. Here I have an information sign. It gives me a pop-up detailing the motor information. On my form I have more warnings, this time making sure the boxes are filled in correctly. If 
Validation can also check email addresses to make sure that the email address is in the correct format. Again, this is all great guidance for your customers to help them fill in their forms. With all of our tech stacks, you will notice a link to detailed help files. In this case, I can view lots of guidance and help with form creation. Section 3 looks at how you can add intelligence to your forms. Let's start with guided selling. You can create forms that guide users based on what they select, offering them new selections and options. Here my options change based on my selection for shelf rating, shelf material and feet option. This is a great example of guided selling to prevent your customers choosing incorrect combinations. My size options are based on minimum and maximum values and quantities with links to data tables for colour selections. You can see the list of available colours for the uprights and cross members listed in my data table. With permissions and security, you have complete control over the visibility of controls. Hide and show user interface elements based on security settings and user permissions. This first example is set up for a customer. We want the, we want the customer to have the ability to change things. We might want to show different views to sales. Engineering may not need to see the model. I want to pick from drop down lists and add information that could populate a drawing border, such as drawn by. Moving across to integration. Integration looks at how you can connect DriveWorks to external web services and other company systems such as ERP, CRM and PDM to automatically push and pull data onto your forms. The form here connects to a delivery cost comparison website to show real-time delivery costs. If I drag this parcel wait and click update, then I get real-time information for delivery time and price. Note we have some form validation to make sure our address is complete with a postcode. Section 4 shows examples of responsive forms. The DriveWorks form designer gives you the ability to create truly responsive forms that look great on whatever device is being used to configure your products. This means you can avoid controls and images being missed due to screen size. This example shows a responsive form that can be used on any device. The DriveWorks form designer allows you to create fully responsive configurators that display correctly on any device, anywhere. Optimise your configurators for mobile users and show the information that matters. I can show you this by moving the slider to represent screen width from desktop size to mobile device. The responsive form is holding the width of the form controls whilst making the preview image scale to fit the screen. As I get down to mobile size, you can see that the controls stack underneath the preview image. Changing the language shown on a form is another great example of responsive forms. You can see here our watch example. The text is updating based on the chosen language. This form example is a great example of how you can customise your configurators. The watch is ticking in real time. I have expanded language menus. I have images for views and an on off button to show 3D. I have a customised colour and material picking menu with selection buttons that are images. 
Oh, and the watch face I chose has updated in 3D in real time. This allows you to fully include your international customers. Section 5 looks at implementation. The DriveWorks form designer makes building a custom user interface for your configurator quick and easy. You can find out more about the elements of the form designer by clicking these buttons here. The form canvas is where you create your forms, add controls and arrange your layout on the form to build the user interface for your DriveWorks project. Alignment tools, guides and the ability to view how forms display to users in test mode make designing a great user interface simple. Use the command bar to add new controls to your forms. For example, spin buttons, combo boxes, text boxes, numeric text boxes, labels and 3D preview. They are all located in this section on the command bar. The form list in the top right hand side displays the forms and controls from within your project. I can select controls, change the layer order of controls and rename forms and controls, plus much more from here. The properties panel displays all the properties for the selected form or control. The ability to build rules for each control property gives you complete control over the style and behaviour of your user interface. Finally, using the DriveWorks rule builder makes it easy to define rules for your design knowledge and business processes. Creating modular forms that reuse controls and user interface elements reduces project complexity and shortens implementation time. This tech stack is a great example of a modular project. Some examples are shown here. Forms can be laid out as modules using frame controls, shown here on the left hand side. Using specification host control, you can show other DriveWorks projects within your form, such as this DriveWorks 3D project for the play system. Our form navigation at the top uses data from tables to drive the information on our forms. With the intelligence of these control templates, these are repeated in all of our tech stacks. There are a selection of DriveWorks form templates for you to choose from. They make implementing responsive DriveWorks forms even easier. These templates are a great starting point for your forms. They are all responsive between desktop and mobile. Section 6 is our Where Next section. DriveWorks form technology can be used to create great looking rules based configurators for any industry or application. As you can see here we have lots of industry spotlights where you can see examples of out of the box, styled and custom forms. DriveWorks forms is just one of the core technologies that make DriveWorks the world leading technology solution that it is. You can learn more about the other core under the hood elements that make up DriveWorks by exploring other tech stacks here. You'll also find several configurator sites that you can interact with. And remember, they have all been created using DriveWorks technology at driveworkslive.com.